<laughs> well, me. Shall we tell them what we're laughing at? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> They've misspelled Hawaiian at the beginning of the show. Well, that's okay. <laughs> well, you know, they're they're maybe learning. They, they'll, maybe they'll go back and correct it. Well, I'm Laban Johnson, and he's sick. <laughs> yeah, I have a bad case of the snorts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just so glad I'm just you on did. death's doorstep. I'm sorry you feel bad, but, I'm but it's here. usually me that, that's injured or <laughs> otherwise indisposed. Well, that's all right. I'm ready to go today. I want to, even if I'm talking Where through my nostrils. Where are we going? I thought we were going oh, to stay to here the kitchen. Cook. Oh, no, oh. we're going to Hawaii oh, via the kitchen. Right. Yes, yes, indeed. This is our Hawaiian spell. show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian. Well, I see you've got a letter there. I do. Yes. Oh, I it. do. Yeah. Yeah. It says, <laughs> Dear, Dear, this is a real one. You know, we're always reading these fake letters, but this one's real. Dear Laban and Lair. Hey, the person uh -huh. really feels comfortable yeah, with uh -huh. me, you know, drop the uh, why. The diminutive. Off I your always name. <laughs> love your show, but the delayed actions have set in now, and I wish I had all the recipes. Didn't think I'd be so motivated to cook, but you've done it. We have actually motivated someone to go to their kitchen. I don't know that they can uh -huh. cook yet, but. Could you please send me all the recipes? No. No. <laughs> I'm drooling for the Mongolian hot pot and the peanut butter spaghetti. I know that was one of my favorites. <laughs> really appreciate your uh, humor. M. Hayes of Sarasota, Florida. Right. Well, M, thanks an awful lot for the fine letter. We really do appreciate that. But unfortunately, we can't send you all the recipes. But you can buy our new cookbook if it ever gets out. Which I don't think it ever will, so you won't be able to get that either. But, but anyway, worry about it. our publisher was in That's touch right. today. I oh, get to tell oh, you, and wonderful. he sends his love oh, good. and <laughs> says, who are you anyway? Oh, right. What was it you were trying Marvelous. to do? Let me we give are, you a tip. Oh, a tip? Yeah. I don't want one. Well, I'm going to give you one anyway. No. You know, if you've got to measure out syrup, and you know how you pour it in a measuring cup and you're supposed to put in so many ounces or whatever of syrup and, and you can't do it because a lot of it stays inside the measuring cup, mm -hmm. the smart thing to do is measure the bottle and see how much is in it. Just measure the whole thing and then pour a little bit by little bit and measure it until you've poured out the right amount. Write that down so you won't live in ignorance. Pour Why? just a little bit out, and then you won't have to you know, worry about cleaning up another day. Thanks an awful lot, Laban. Mm -hmm. That was wonderful. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we hope you'll come back again <laughs> next week to give us another wonderful hint. Thank you. Well, why, it's time why have you got the go. whipped cream out? Because it tops off my pineapple Betty. Oh, you're going to do something kinky on With the air? Yeah, this goes on Betty at the end of the program, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's go do it. Let me ask you something before we go do it. All right. Why do they always name these things Betty? Why, Why not? not Pineapple <laughs> Susie or Apple... Uh, well, there is Apple Betty, Apple Brown Betty. Well, I know that. I'm saying, why not Apple uh, Georgia or Apple I don't know. Susie? Maybe somebody could write in and tell us where that came from. Betty is why was, Betty? She was a good woman I'd in the like kitchen. To know that. <laughs> well, she's been reduced to pineapple on this show. So, oh, let's get over this oh. way and wander in. Larry, the old... I swear, I believe you're the first person I've ever heard of that had a cold that settled in their in back. In my back. <laughs> Just barely walk. <laughs> oh my heavens! Well, show us what you're gonna do with that Betty. Well, we're gonna do all kinds of things. We're gonna whip and beat. <laughs> and just have a great time with Betty. Yes, we are. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do. I called into the studio earlier today uh -huh. in an unusual moment of <laughs> free Lucidity. planning, and says, "Would you set out some of that margarine? Because it's got to warm up. It's got to be warm." because I'm going to have to cream this margarine <laughs> with, uh, with some sugar. Three quarters of a cup of just ordinary sugar. Mm -hmm. I'll take that and just dump that right in there. And uh, probably instead of doing that with an ordinary spoon, I should do it with a whisk, but what the heck. Yes, I should have. <laughs> this is already a big mess. Hang on a second. I'm not going to do any of that. This is doing it the hard way. Let me get a whisk. You got a lisp. I said, let me get a whisk. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> this stuff has been out all day and it's still not warm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this worked beautifully in my kitchen last night. I'm going to do it or else. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Do it however you got to do it. I didn't want to have to do it this way because now I'm going to have to clean my egg beaters. 
because in a couple of minutes I'm going to have to make up some meringue and as you probably all know, oh my heavens, this thing's just, I believe this thing's dying. You know these little things aren't worth a hoot. Well now, I remember how you used to just brag on those babies. <laughs> well listen to it, it'll hardly get through. You know, consumer reports threw off on these people recently about how these little handheld jobs can't hold up under some of under these, pressure. Under pressure. Like you're going to be under if you don't get that. Would you do me a favor and wash these things off real well? They've Are got you to be crazy? totally clean or else my meringue <laughs> will just flop o big time. Well, do we have anything to wash them in? Now that I have now that I have messed up everything in the kitchen. Now, what we have to do at this point and wash that off too while you're at it. <coughs> Please and thank you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to I always hate to do this because it's it's so sad, I think. But I'm I don't have, have to, anything to wash them with. Well, here, here's soap. Some, well, that's all right. Just take some paper towels and just in cold water. Oh. Get it off. I swear you have to tell them everything. I hate to have to do this because this is always a sad moment on cooking cheap, but I'm going to have to separate five eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what this means, I don't know. And I don't use any of those fancy schmancy egg separators. Oh, <laughs> and as you can see, I probably should, but I don't. One little eggy. It's important not to get any of your yalla in with your egg whites because you will have problems later on when you're beating up on them and you're trying to to get some meringue. It's better to have a little too much egg white over here than to have any yellow over here. Five of them. Not much to it really as you can see. <laughs> there goes another one. How embarrassing. You know nothing has gone right about this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> yet. Oh, it's just so much fun to play in those egg whites. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sometimes I just love to run my fingers through. Would you give me a paper towel? Well, I'll please. Swear. I'm having a terrible time on this show today. But hey, it's okay. It's going to be all right. I only have two more to separate. Doesn't that just look good? There we go. And one more. There we go. Now, what we're going to do, did you get that cleaned up for me? Because I'm going to need it. I did the best I could. Well, I don't want to hear that. I want it to be good. It's got to be totally clean or you'll ruin my fine no, meringue. I don't think the meringue will be bothered by sugar or butter. Now what we have to do at this point is we take the five yolks and put them into the sugar and whatever it was, margarine combination. And we're going to start mixing this stuff together. I had to whisk a minute ago and I threw it somewhere. I think I'd like to have, well it's alright, I'll just use this. You know I'm under medication and I just can't make decisions today. You're under what? Medication. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> You're under medication. I'm under five pounds. <laughs> and we all, of course, know the answer to that. Now, we're going to take a cup of crushed drained pineapple, and I crushed it and drained it earlier myself. That's about one of these cans, one of these cans. And splish that in there, if you don't mind. That's crushed pineapple. And we're going to mix that in with it. See, this is the pineapple part of the Betty. Oh, yes. And we also need some breadcrumbs, and it calls for <laughs> a quarter of a cup of plain breadcrumbs. Now, if you don't have breadcrumbs, you can use about a tablespoonful of uh, flour. To sort of thick. Or birdseed. Or birdseed. Well, it, it was good enough for Hansel and Gretel. Stupidest thing I ever heard of. Just take a little bit. I found that I needed just a little more than what it called for. So just, just pile some of it in there. Don't worry about it. Now, isn't that lovely? It's just beautiful and gorgeous. Now, if you'll get my beaters back, I've got some things i got to do now. I can't. I'm busy. You what? 
What? Uh -huh. Well, hang on a second. I'll be, I'll be right back. Well, he didn't do a very good job of cleaning them. All right, now, let's hope this is clean enough because I can't tell you how important it is. Yes, they're going to stay. Now, here's what you do. You have five of these egg whites, and what you're going to do is separate the egg whites out. This is to separate the separation. Use about half of them. Just run them in there. Keep those out. Now, what we're going to do with these, where's the salt? I swear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, folks. We just have a technical difficulty. Now, we're going to put just a little salt in that and whip them up real good. If this stupid thing can whip them up, 15 minutes, Lord, I swear, I don't think I'll live through it. Just a little salt in there. I'm going home at the end of five more minutes while the show's over. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold these in. Now, you don't want to sweeten this. This is just for thickening and for fluffing up what you got. Your bedding. This is to sort of fluff up your bedding. What we'll do in a couple of minutes with the remainder is we will make a meringue, which differs a little bit from this mess, in that we sweeten it and put a little vanilla in it. Now, what we want, what we want to do <laughs> is stiff peaks. This is undoubtedly, this is undoubtedly the poorest excuse for an electric mixer I have ever seen in my life. I could have done it this fast by hand. Well, it's starting to get there. Yeah, that's close. How much more time? For 12 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can go all day on this. <laughs> all right, that's enough of that nonsense. All right, now, we're going to take that and fold it into the other mixture. Just fold it right in there. Oh, it's just so lovely. It really is. I have a something else. Well, Johnson took it, didn't bring it back. Just mix that around, fold it up. This is the fluffy portion. See, that just makes it real fluffy. Just fold are it Are you in. fluffy tonight? <laughs> if you are, serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> that is undoubtedly. <laughs> Elvis is spinning at Graceland. I can tell you that right now. Okay, and then you take an ordinary, what, what do you say, what are you putting off on this? It's gorgeous. Wait till you taste it. I have a fake we one will. that I made last night. <laughs> it's just real wonderful. Now, very carefully, just pour it in there. All right, there it is. It smells good. Now, you have to admit to that, right? Uh-huh. Now, in a couple of minutes, I will make a nice meringue from the leftover egg whites, which don't show up real well on television. They're not very photogenic, I've noticed. Anyway, we'll make uh, some meringue in just a couple of minutes. I have to go clean up some stuff, and then I'll be back. Well, quickly, because... And now to what's his name? We're going to do a pineapple bye-bye. That's uh, a little drink. And so I've got a beautiful, fresh pineapple, and we're going to cut the top off of it here. <laughs> I'll swear, Johnson, have you noticed that these ants have gotten so bad in here? These ants have gotten so bad in here. It's just incredible. Are they edible? Or... <laughs> oh. No, they're plastic. Oh. Here, have some more. I bring them with me. Sometimes I take them to picnics. Just in case none show up. Simple pleasures for simple minds. Anyway. I've cut what the top off the doing? piano and the bottom, so that, or the pineapple, the piano. The piano. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the few one of these shows where we've had no water at all, and we don't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> the piano. And now I'm going to hollow the, 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 pineapple the piano out. out here. I remember when you came out and cut the top off my piano <laughs> one time. I'll never forget it. It was the rudest thing. And this is not... Uh, a hard thing to do, but it is a little bit tedious. It's what? Tedious. You heard me. 
I'm just trying to do a little of this cleaning. You know how these guys get real huffy, the camera people and whatever, all the junk we leave behind. Now we'll use this big spoon and get down in there and go for it. Mm. Boy, that core is mean. I sure hope I don't fill up this bucket underneath the sink. <laughs> we'll be in big trouble. Now we want to. You have to keep working on the core down in here, folks, because... So you're working with the core. Mm-hmm. And you have to be careful not to go all the way to the bottom because then your drink will leak later on. Well, it looks like you're throwing the best part of it away. Couldn't you save that? You seem to be right wasteful with it. There's a lot of people starving in southeast Roanoke. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're going to get letters on that, I don't boy. care. I, oh, Doesn't bother such me a, a bit. terrible attitude. <laughs> Send them in. I want to hear from you. <laughs> be the first time they ever responded to anything over there. I'll swear. <laughs> Let me stick my head in this oven and I'll be right back. Excuse me. Cut my mic. All right. Now, there, there's our pineapple. Uh, all hollowed out. I've got two of them. Although, I don't think I'm going to give Bly one. <laughs> Now, for each one of these, we're going to start off with <laughs> some ice cubes in our blender, and we're going to put a, about uh, oh, a couple of jiggers of cocoa reeb into this. <laughs> now, in doing this, we have bruised the sides, and we'll put a couple of jiggers of rum down in there. We have bruised the sides of these pineapples so that they'll be nice and juicy down in the I bottom. I saw you doing that when I came in. <laughs> Just like I will bruise you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and it works. That's our brand new blender I picked up at a flea market the other day. Aren't you proud of me? What? I, did, I said I picked it up at a flea market for a dollar. I think we need some more cubes. I think you need some more cubes. Am I ever going to get to my meringue? <laughs> well, I don't know. You can go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to start my meringue. All you do is just take the leftover egg whites, but this time take just a little bit of sugar and add to it, and just a little bit of vanilla and add to it, and that'll be a sweet meringue which will go on top. <laughs> eight, eight minutes. I can't believe I'm going to make it. Well, doggone. Now, just take a little bit of vanilla. Just a tad little bit. There we go. And mix that in there. And that's just it. And I'm just going to get it real, you know, going to get it so it's stiff. Is it getting stiff? Yeah, it's getting real stiff. Is it working? Yeah, it is. I know what I'm doing when it comes to meringue. Oh. Six minutes. <laughs> I could do this all day. I wish you would. <laughs> Seven minutes. They're adding time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're going in the other direction. We're never going to get off. <laughs> all right, now wait a minute. Let me finish this and then we'll get back to Johnson here. Oh, isn't that pretty? I do do that well, if I must say so. Now, what we got to do is set that down. Now, we're going to take this is a tricky part. Just take that and just dollop it around on the top. I don't know why this calls for meringue on top. I know when you're going to put when you're going to put whipped cream, <laughs> but I tell you what, it does look real lovely when you bake it. Oh, well, good. And if if you don't have any whipped cream, you don't really need it because you got this lovely, lovely meringue goo on top. Isn't that pretty, Johnson? Mm -hmm. You have to admit I do extraordinary that, that's work. That's real nice. <laughs> Are you in love with it? Oh, Johnson? I'm crazy for it. Would you it. go out with it if it were something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I've seen what went into it. I don't know if I'd go out with it or not. <laughs> that is a good woman. She always spoke well of you. Now, you put that thing in there, and that's just gorgeous. Now, that's going to puff it all up. It'll just puff up. And you put that in the oven at 350 degrees, and you bake it for 30 minutes. I forgot to tell you, it's probably a good idea to bake it for 15 minutes without the meringue on top, and then take it out well, and put the meringue. Well, why did you? Uh... Well, because I can't do that. I don't have 15 uh -huh. minutes. And then put the meringue and bake it for the last 15. And when you do, it comes out real pretty. 
It's just a picture of gorgeousness. Oh. Yes, it is. Isn't that lovely? It Why is. is it quivering? <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's been rode around oh. in a car all oh. day long. Right. <laughs> <laughs> about 60 miles an hour on the way over here. <laughs> and, uh, all right, and about 80 going through Old Southeast. Southwest, fool. Y'all doing all right? Yeah. Doing pretty good. Okay, now with the mixture has had <laughs> ice cubes and our jiggers of cocoa root, now you're going to pour that right down into the pineapple. Oh, you know that's going to be good. Mm, mm, mm. You know it's going to be. And all right, I think while we're getting all of this ready, because Bly gets so nervous when we do this kind of recipe on the show, that what we ought to do is bring in the lovely Miss Witch and get her to tell us uh, what, if there's any news from our wonderful aunts, sis and toots. Oh, oh my heavens. It is. It is, she's bearing a big uh, card, it would appear as, though she is. Good grief. Got this rascal in here tight as a tick. <laughs> you can't get the car out of the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Let's see. What is What's it say, Laban? Well, wait a minute, I'm gonna show everybody. <laughs> Somebody hold a piece of celery that went out on them. Oh. <laughs> it says, dear boys, yeah. guess where we are this week? Where? We are in Australia. <gasps> Down under. Yes, we've had a lot of fun. Sister <laughs> has sung Walsing Matilda practically every minute that she's awake. The other day we met several men and invited them to come out with us. Hmm. They started singing some song about tie your wallaby down <laughs> and that's exactly what they did to us. They left us here and we were here at this place for more than four hours before anybody oh, stopped to help us. Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyway, we have had a really good time, but the food is real strange. Here are two of our favorite recipes that we've run into. Maybe you can cook them for all the other people. And Great. We'll, we'll so try. So what are we be cooking? Yeah, we're going to, you're going to be doing some kind of a stew, it says. A there. And I'm, stew And I'm doing something. a, a salad. <laughs> a I'll do a salad. What? And incidentally, we forgot to tell what was in this mess that we did today. Let's look at the recipes for a minute. I was trying to call for it, but you kept running your mouth, and I never There's got your, to it. There's your Betty. I wouldn't say me, white man. Ah, uh, <laughs> what is it? Pineapple Betty. There you see it. You can read it for yourself. It's real nice. Got all, all those wonderful things <laughs> in it. Okay, that's the pineapple If you can't Betty. figure that out, you'd never be able to figure out how and to put it together anyway. And here's the pineapple bye-bye, the fresh pineapple, crushed ice, yeah. rum, and a coconut liqueur. Uh -huh. Well, Bly, yeah. if you'll carry the Betty over to the table. Oh, you've already done Betty's it. Betty's already preceded us at the table. Yeah. Here's your uh, drink. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I've got mine. Fine. And uh, oh, I was about to spill it on myself. On my fine garment. Oh, I've got to get you something to... I spilled something on my chair. Where's the spoon? <laughs> and I don't want to... What? Where's the spoon? Well, what's here's, the... here's one. Here's oh. one. I got to get you some of this Betty going. Oh, it's, isn't it just lovely and runny? Oh, it's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could have baked another two hours. I can't wait to sample this. Uh, Here, yeah. Laban, let me put a little. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, those. Uh, well, let's, well, am I supposed to give this a try? Yeah. This is for my safety. <laughs> Got these things all. All right. Mmm, oh, the Betty's real good. How's that? Well, I couldn't get anything through there. <laughs> if in doubt. Mmm, they're, they're freezing my mouth off. Mm. Ooh, this is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, let me try Betty. It tastes so much like apple. Well, this pineapple bed is right good, right runny, but it's real good. 
Well, maybe I, we want to run out and make some. Hmm? Well, I think the girls found some good stuff in I Hawaii. believe they did. I believe this international recipe idea is just extraordinary. Mm -hmm. We're, we're come pulling it off real well, I think. Well, let's remind them again where they have to write if they need the recipe. Well, they'll be doing that. To, okay. Oh, they'll be doing that, I guess, to close the All program. Right, well. Don't get nervous or out of order on it. Well, that's about it. Oh, I hope he gets better next week because it's so <sighs> wild when he's nutty. Bye. Bye. If you're a fan of cooking cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at blueridgepbs.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.